All right, y'all, let's talk about some bar maintenance. So after a while, you're gonna start getting grooves in your bar and this surface will become unlevel. So every once in a while, you're gonna have to dress your bar. Let me take you back out a little bit. Um, here's what I use. Um, preferred, preferred, furred, however you wanna say it. Makes this fancy dancy file holder and file. So this way, you know, for the guys that like to just use a flat file, this actually gets you back to a perfect 90 degree angle in relationship to the bar and why that's important. Here, let me uh, show you a little something. All right, so in order for you to cut perfectly straight, the chain has to be completely straight up and straight down. If it's worn on one side or the other, it will actually cock these teeth over at an angle and you're not gonna make full contact with the top plate while you're in the cut. Um, some of this has to do, you also wanna check to make sure how much play you've got in your bar groove. These wear out as well. It's a 50 gauge bar with a 50 gauge chain in it. And you can see there's a little bit of wiggle there. Let's see if that clears up after we dress this bar. All right, so this is a one direction kind of file. So you can only go in the direction. And you know, this is this file material on both sides so you can flip it over when it gets wore out. And just like any other file that you use, you're gonna have to clear it out. So more pressure from this side. Make sure we get a little bit more light on this. Make sure we're looking good. Let's see, how's that? All right, so I'm kind of pushing down and in because I want to keep this edge right here flush to the side of the bar. And you'll notice, and I'll take you in here and look, is that as we start skating across this, I'm really only hitting one of the rails pretty good. So I'm getting it trued back up so it's running. So that chain's going to be straight up and down. So what's hard to do with this glare. So if you look, let me take you in nice and close. So kind of see where I've been making some progress. Let me find a good spot, there we go. See how this side right here, I've been making good contact, but it's yet to hit this side right here. That's because this side was higher. You follow what I'm saying? A lot of guys that want to hand file, you're never going to get this without this jig in place, truly squared up. So you just keep repeating this process, tap out your file. And I'm starting to see this come around. A few more strokes. This thing really moves the metal. And this file is not brand hammer new by any stretch. And see right there, that's what you're looking for. I only worked on that one area in particular just to make this video concise. So, you know, Good contact patch right there. Then as you go down, you see I've still got some more work to do here. That side's clean. This side's still got a little bit left to clear up. So just keep working at it and you'll end up with a better, truer cutting bar and chain. All right, and then once you've got, you're done truing up the rails, it's time to catch that side so I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Now, put it on this side. And again, we're kind of like down and in. You want to make sure you got good positive pressure against the side of the bar. And you can feel when it's not, you know you got a good clean edge right there. There's no burr on the side of the bar. Uh, this will also take care of your chains too. You'll, if you look on the bottom 
of the drive links, or excuse me, on the chassis straps of the chain, you'll notice wear and tear from an un, from a from a boogered up surface on your bar rails. And then lastly, now that this area has been ground, I don't have as much wiggle side to side. It's really tightened it up so it's not rocking as much in the groove. And the tighter that stays, the straighter you'll cut, especially on long cuts, you'll notice it. Or, you know, full depth of bar cuts. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here's just a little something short and quick. Regular saw maintenance you can do once a month, once every other month. Um, I want to say these are about 30 bucks and the replacement files like 10 bucks uh really well worth it and then you kind of see the material that it removes look in there and see what i was kicking out of there it really peels the metal nice these are super high quality files anyway thanks for watching y'all don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh do a little subscribing